For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it quite clear that in this world you will get a lot, but you may not get what you want because this world is not all about getting what you want. For that, we have kept a certain place known as Jannah, paradise. We always say paradise would lose its value if you had to have everything you wished for in this world. Because then you would get to the hereafter and say, well, I already had a life where I got everything I wished for. What's the point of having this life? Therefore, part of the plan of Allah is none of us, no exception to this, will ever get every single thing we just wish for. No, there has to be restriction in order for us to appreciate Jannah. The day Allah says, In it, there is everything that the soul shall desire. Everything the soul desires, you will achieve, you will have, it will be yours, you will get it on condition that you desire that while you are in paradise. From now, these minds of ours may not even know what is there. The hadith says, In Jannah, there are things that no eye has ever seen. So if you've seen something, trust me, it's not there. You know, every time the women get excited, I'm happy, my husband's not going to be there. <laughs> we don't mean that. He will be there, but with a with an absolutely perfect character, perfect mind, perfect body, according to your taste. Now, do you want him? Some women will still say no. That's how much we've harassed them, my beloved brothers. And I think vice versa as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. Oh, the men are saying, Ameen. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. But the ultimate goal is such that my brothers and sisters, when you arrive there, you won't regret having worked hard for it. But when you see others going in and you are not from among them, there will be regret. May Allah forgive us. May Allah take us to Jannah through his mercy because our deeds, sometimes we know and we feel that the sincerity levels or the manner in which we've done our deeds or the amount of deeds, if it's not for the mercy of Allah, we're still not going to go to Jannah. We are weak. So the Prophet wasallam says, in Jannah is that which no eye has ever seen. No ears have ever heard of or no ears have ever heard. So if you've heard something or heard of something, trust me, what is in paradise is something far better. And in it is that which no, it has not crossed the mind. It has not even crossed the heart of a human. So if, if in your imagination, something has crossed your imagination, your mind, your heart, trust me in Jannah is better than that. You have no clue what is being prepared or has been prepared in fact there. But we need to work towards it.